love. What is love? A four-letter word that sums up everything for us. Or it's supposed to sum up every feeling we have that we can't express. This four-letter word, L-O-V-E. I thought love was supposed to be beautiful, easy, and simple. This is before I completely denied its total existence. But we'll get to that. Robert Sternberg is a psychologist, and he defined love as the combination of three components, passion, intimacy, and commitment. When people share all three, they are said to be in a state of consummate love. This love is considered to be the ideal type of love, but is relatively hard to maintain for a long period of time. Intimate love encompasses the close bonds of a loving relationship. Passionate love is based on drive. Commitment or committed love is for couples who are committed to being together for a long period of time. Eric Fromm, this is another psychologist, and his definition of true love was inspired by Dubsky's definition, an act of will, intention, and promise. As I started to ease into the reality that love still exists, I discovered that there were six main styles of loving. Eros, loving an ideal person. Ludos, love as a game. And Strudge, love as a friendship. And three secondary styles. Mania, a combination of Eros and Ludos, obsessive love. Pragma, a combination of Ludos and Strudge, realistic and, self and, realistic and practical love and a gap, a combination of eros and strudge, selfless love. Romantic love, you see, is more than a feeling. It's a human impulse based in our species development that has led to better survival. And it is this drive that gives you a lot of energy, a lot of concentration, and a lot of elation. Science has found that the three components of love, each of which are fueled by three different, uh, each of which are fueled by different combinations of hormones. In both men and women, estrogen and testosterone have, play a role in lust. Adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin, the same hormones generated by new, exper um, new experiences, drive attraction. Long-term attachment is regulated by oxytocin and vasopressin, the same hormones and brain chemicals that promote bonding. As we started to develop and progress in life, the human race as a whole seems to have forgotten the true meaning of love. You see, we have gone from great Greek philosophers such as Socrates and Roman philosophers such as Cicero to a conceited, selfish, egocentric generation that seems to have lost the plot on the most basic of things. One of those things being love. Love used to be a word so sacred, it would never be as abused as we do right now. The fact that this generation is so uneducated on this topic is the reason why we don't take it seriously. This generation has hackneyed this word to the point where it has no meaning, and something without meaning lacks significance and is a waste of space and simply ceases to exist. This is what has happened to the word love. Personally, I never understood the concept of loving another person. Don't get me wrong, I love myself. But the thought of loving someone else terrifies me. The thought of loving someone else terrifies me. Everyone else thinks that love is as simple as these Hollywood movies make them out to be. But let's not lie to ourselves and believe that. As I'm naturally human, I began to fear what I could not understand, and this fear for love turned into hatred. I hated that other people were able to say that they were in love or that they loved someone, because whenever I tried, I always failed. And I understand that I'm young and that I have time, but why can others my age find it so simple, so easy? When I look at someone else and I see how they look at their significant other, it's as if everyone else simply ceases to exist. And I yearned for this feeling. So I took matters into my own hands. And I began to love myself. This is when I discovered my own self-worth.
If others did not want to love me or could not love me, then I would love myself because I refuse to be unlovable. Again, I understand that it's not fair to want someone to love me when I know very well I would be incapable of reciprocating those feelings. But if they truly love me, would they not wait for me? Now, when I look back onto love as a whole, I've come to the realization that it's not just a chemical reaction, it is a combination of so many different it is a combination of so many different emotions, like compassion and intimacy. Although intimacy isn't just lust, it could be the smallest of things, such as an entanglement of hands as one walks with a significant other. As of right now, I've come to the realization that love still exists as a whole, whether it be romantic love or platonic love, it all exists. I'm not saying I let my guard down as of right now, but I'm hopeful for what the future has to hold. When the right person comes along, I, too, will be ready to love. Thank you very much for listening.